I want you to be genuinely happy. I want you to find a job you like. I want you to build a life you love. There is one thing that I truly believe limits us and disables our quest to acquire, attract, and create a life of abundance, a, a life of joy, a life of happiness. I believe that we have to master the art of knowing what triggers us. This requires a high level of self-awareness, knowing what makes you sad, knowing what makes you happy, knowing what makes you laugh, knowing what makes you get riled up. Once we know what triggers us, then we tap into another level of consciousness. Now we can see what our enemies are gonna use against us. We can see what we bring to the table. We can see what we take away from the table. We can see what makes us great partners and what makes us not so great partners. Partners. What makes us a great friend? And what makes us a bad friend? Are we easily offended? Are our feelings easily hurt? We need to know what triggers us. And we have to do the dirty work and face the pain and face where it came from in our childhood or in our previous relationships or when we got fired from that job. We have to face where it comes from. When pain exists, if you just try to hide the pain, guess what? It will come back up and it will destroy your life. We have to figure out how to face the pain, how to, how to let that pain that we have hiding in the closet, how to let it out and stare at that pain and, and, and say, damn, that's me, I did that. I, I caused that pain. And now deal with it. Deal with the, the guilt. Deal with the shame. Deal with whatever comes with it. And then you let it go. You move forward and you take that. You take that lesson and you move forward. You move forward and you grow. You move forward and you develop. You move forward and you live and you love and you laugh. We don't need to deal with the pain just to be sad or just to be upset. We need to deal with the pain so we can limit that stuff in the future so we can know, damn, this is why I get upset when so-and-so does X, Y, Z. Not because so-and-so is doing X, Y, Z, but because so-and-so from my past used to do X, Y, Z. And it triggers me and it reminds me of them. And I promise you, once you are willing to attack this, once you are able to attack this, I promise you, your entire life will change. Now, you're gonna ask me how to do this. Well, if you have some money, if you have health insurance, go see a therapist because you can have these conversations with a therapist and a therapist will help you work it out. Now, let's say you don't have that. Let's say you don't have that, what do you do? Well, I just told you, you have to dig deep in your past. It could be a sick, it could be in the last six months. It could be in the last two years. It could be in the last eight years. You have to dig deep. Personally, I write. The reason I write is it helps me understand my emotions. So what I would suggest to you is get out some paper, not, not in your cell phone, get out some paper, old school, get a pen, pencil, whatever you, utensil you like to write with and write down your thoughts, journal your thoughts. When you're revisiting, you're reminiscing, okay, this is what happened to me. You know, I used to live in Minnesota. Uh, a dog attacked me when I was a kid. You know, a uh, man whose dog it was, he was 6'4". So now I don't like men who are 6'4", and I don't like dogs. Boom, that, like you've done the work. No matter how silly it may sound, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how other people are gonna judge it. Anything that causes fear, causes you pain, anything that triggers you, it matters. And your goal as a human who is chasing consciousness, your goal is to be completely aware without judging it. Don't judge it and say, oh, why are you scared of men who are 6'4"? Don't judge it. You just want to become aware of it. A dog tried to attack you when you were younger, now you don't like dogs. Don't judge it. You just want to be aware of it. I'm going to leave you guys with this. Pain comes into our life. We get knocked down. It's okay that pain comes into your life. It's not okay that you don't have conflict resolution skills. It's not okay that you don't understand that you don't have to hold on to the pain that comes. See, you have to realize conflict resolution is your ability to deal with stress, your ability to deal with problems, your ability to use your brain to say, I don't have to deal with this longer than this amount of time. So in this amount of time, I'm gonna dig, I'm gonna face it, I'm gonna deal with it, I'm gonna learn what I can learn from it, and then I'm gonna discard it and I'm going to move forward. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people hold on to pain. They hold on to positions. And it's it's all because of the pain, it's all because of your ego and that you attach yourself to every single thing you experience. Me, 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 me. Take a step back, look at your entire life and ask yourself, do I have to hold on to any of this pain from when I was 14, from when I was 17, 22, 44, 66? However, do I have to ask yourself, do I have to hold on to the pain? I think that's a very important question. I want you to ask yourself that every single time you go through something ask yourself do i have to hold on to this pain is my life getting better by holding on to this pain is my life improving by holding on to this pain and i mean i can't answer it for you but when you ask yourself that question i'm willing to
that, the answer is going to be no, that you don't have to hold on to the pain. And I'm willing to bet that when you tell yourself you don't have to hold on to the pain, I'm willing to bet that you will start your forgiveness process, your healing process, your letting go process. I'm willing to bet that if you ask yourself, do I have to hold on to this pain? And you, the answer is no. I'm willing to bet that you will feel a lot lighter. I'm willing to bet you will feel a lot happier. I'm willing to bet that you will smile more that you will laugh more, that you will get more enjoyment out of your job, out of your friendships, out of your relationship, out of yourself, out of your connection with the universe, with your, your spirituality or whatever, whatever you practice. I am willing to bet that you will get more, more enjoyment out of life. When you ask yourself, do I have to hold on to this? Then you answer for yourself. I cannot answer for you. Nobody can do the work for you. You have to do the work for you. I think you can do it, especially if you saw this message. Thank you for your time today. Keep loving. Keep living. If you're new here, subscribe. Maybe drop a comment below. We'd we'll love to hear from you. And uh, I'll be back next week to talk to you guys. The pursuit of letting go of pain. Thank you. Thank you.